I'll show you. I'll show you what my practice has gotten me. Nowhere. Let's do it again. Oh, they broke up their chains so miserably. Why? What's happening here? Assessment was right. They, like stacking willy nilly could get you a good four to six chain, but like you can't build off that. It might be show. It's potion. Let's time. get to work. Whoa, what is that mess happening over there? What was that? Learned fool, I thought you were. Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. It's Michael GXP Streams. We're gonna be doing some video games. Alright, so as we left off, okay, it's Homeworld, so Dario's alive. So we gotta go. We're doing it, everybody. Yeah. 
So we were we were doing the the side quests where the side quests where you have to talk to Dario. a memento from your mother and a gift you gave me when we got engaged this is try to remember we've been together since we were little and we can will continue to be i'll always be there for you dario Riddell, run ah Riddell, that's right Riddell. Oh, this is bad what what's wrong no, don't touch him! Ah! What the? The Masamune! Dario! No, Dario, don't touch that sword! Oh, I told you not to touch it! Riddell, my sword thirsts for your blood. I knew it! The Masamune never actually disappeared from Death Gate. It just returned to its rightful owner. Wait a minute, then that means Dario's still... What really happened? I thought Dario died fighting demons on the island of the damned. Actually... Is that the Masamune? Dario, what do you think you're doing? Die. Death to all living creatures. Don't tell me it's that sword. Dario, let go! Ah. Stop, Dario, it's me, Karsh. Gorge. Damn. This is a duel of a lifetime. Kill me, Kosh, hurry! No! No, Kosh, or else I'll... No, Dario, I can't! Please snap out of it, Dario! Oh, you idiot, I gave you a chance. You cannot defeat me. You are but a few mortal. Ooh. First, I'll dispose of you, and then... Riddell. I shall let the Masamune sit itself on Riddell's blood. <laughs> Damn you! Ah! Dario, what have I done? Pathetic fool. You are! Dario was killed by demons. Understand, Karsh. What? Are you gonna tell him what he just did? Are you willing to tell Riddell that you murdered Dario because he was possessed by the evil sword? Ugh! Do not worry. Do as I say and everything will be just fine. Dario! How can you pick it up and not go mad? No, oh, I understand! Dora was possessed by the enmity of the Mass Moon Prepare yourselves! I can't finish my line! You guys are gonna out of this. I cannot face Dora in battle. Me neither. I just found my brother. No, I cannot do this. To abolish the darkness, we must defeat the Mass Moon. It's the only way to save Dario! Face the enmity of my sword. I could die, everybody. A very real possibility. This is apparently the hardest fight in the game. Wait, I think the key is to make sure I have some people defending at all times. Look at that pretty prism weapon. Dash and gash. Ugh! That's a kill no matter what I do. Ugh. 
I think I have to, like, reduce the elements here. It hurt! Oh my god! light or dark against him. Sonic Sodo! this fight, you can't use white or black. He's weak to white, but he responds with terrible, uh, terrible elements right away. He already hits me almost guaranteed anyway, so... No, not Infoscope. Oh, he's dizzy. Tornado! That's a kill. Woo! Oh my god. How will you lose almost 100% of your damage, of your health? Cure plus plus four, please. I don't think I'll survive another gash. Masamune is also cursed, and we have to cleanse it by beating it up. Yeah, it does seem like there's a lot of enmity left within the Masamune from whatever happened in, in, in Trigger. Dumbo! Okay, he's, he's flagging a bit, so I just gotta survive a couple more turns.
This also means that if you, whatever elements I use, I barely have the chance to make it full, so I can barely, I can't summon against him. He responds with the opposite color each time. Tornado. Oh yeah, hey draw. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I missed your post, but I see you. I see you. I don't want to look at you in high definition. I'll beat him up. Bop. Beep. Ha -ha. Is that it? Oh, you effectively beat me up. Okay, good. I cheesed the fight a little bit. A dreamer's bandana. There's only two in the game. Well, it appears that Masamune found a new master. What, Surge? Do not panic. Look around you. Birds. The birds that fled are coming back. I no longer sense the slightest bit of malice from the Masamune. There's no more fear of his coming to its enmity. Ah, uh, you awake, Master? Yeah, but looking back, I think we've done something terrible. Uh, no, no, if we don't tell. Hey, what are you two up to? Who's Doreen? Yeah, it's Doreen! And now they, we don't remember a thing. Hmm, I see. Well, just to make sure you're not to any mischief, I'm coming along. Alright, how many centuries has it been since us three have got together? Doreen? Okay, then let's go. Help. The sea swallows turn into the master, master moon. Where... Where am I? Rudell, is that you, Rudell? What happened to me? Dario, thank goodness. Your memory has returned. Memory? Oh, yeah. I had taken a hold of the Masamune and went, Forgive me, Karsh, for what I put you through. Huh, <laughs> forget about it. Although your memory's returned, let us not forget the harsh reality which lies in wait. Come. So, you really need me. I've been prepared for this day. Bye! Farewell. I wish you all the best. Everyone is hurt and separated, inexperienced and incomplete. However, by living as such, we may change for the better into something bigger, something more gentle. My goodness, what has happened during my absence? Where have the general and the others gone? Vidal, you said that you all come from another world. When there, then, where are Karsh and you and the others in this world? Unfortunately, no one from Viper Manor who went to the Dead Sea will return. Why did the general and the others go to such a dangerous place? In search of the Frozen Flame, they were swallowed up by a terminated timeline, and have perished along with the Dead Sea. <sighs> How ironic that it is I who have survived. Dara, you still have me. Riddell. We may be from different worlds, but you are you, and I am I. Yo, that's right. I'm live and kicking, too. Hey, Rusty. There ain't no one who can take my life. <laughs> Zoa and Marsh are here, too. We can also call the old dragon stable keeper. Brother, I've matured into quite a swordsman in the past four years. Thank you, everyone. I guess you're right. I am alive, and I'll do whatever I must do. I do not know how many years it will take, but I will reveal Viper Manor. It is my duty. My, my, my. Perhaps it's about time I came out of retirement. Time for one last hurrah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. No, we're on. I've been over from different worlds. The four demons are back in business. But maybe minus one. I don't think you're fit for battle yet. Forgive me. Four years of the isolation has taken their toll. Are you alright? Riddell, I want you to have this. Please rest up and just concentrate on the building Viper Manor. Thank you, I shall do so. Of course, I'll help you too. Plus, I have an idea. Enjoy the... 
the island music while I get my stupid elements in order. Okay, hers is Snake Eyes, which is one of the only- she's only one of two people in the game who can refresh their elements. So in a fight, if it's looking terrible, then you just switch her- uh, you just use up the- her ability, and then there you go. And he should have gotten his next element too, right? No, no, that's not it. I did say I would open the door so all the children lost their parents during the past struggle. However, this Rivali job's a little too... We have to bear in mind that children will be living here. Why not officially make this place into an orphanage? line isn't quite over yet. There's one more, one more reward we have to get first. I don't remember if it's here, though. this world. We gotta change it up. Wait. It is- is it weaker? It's weaker than my Spectra Swallow. If that's true, then why am I equipping it? If it has a higher crit, then it's fine. Uh, ultimate weapon, it's near perfect critical hit rate. Oh, okay. Uh, why they guys are graded? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. If it has higher crit, then I'll put it on. And I also assume if I do a new game plus, I won't have the Master Moon anymore. Master Mune. story round uh round up we got Serge's body back to normal uh but we have to we're and we have to chase links into uh the sea of eden oh right there's a robot to fight right the islander is resonating Understand. This sword, I'll take it to my hands, and together we fulfill our unfinished dream. Hey, 
Darian. Welcome to the stream. Wait, where's this? Oh, that's annoying. How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, glancing from across. Blah, blah, blah. Skip. Skip the story. Uh... Oh, at 40 stars. Duh. Okay. I only have 38. Dreamer's bandana, bandana. I want her to be able to cast spells. Alright, we've done enough screwing around. We gotta move on with the story. Time for that. <laughs> move, move. Board your boat. No. Dead Sea Ruins. Into the Fate Distortion. To the Future Ruins. That, that sound weird, right? Future Ruins. Alright, the future had Gundams. That weapon looks ridiculous. How are you supposed to sail a boat like this? Flying arrow! Oh, that's the... Those are the twins. The, that's the Master Moon's soul right there. I feel like I'm playing Xeno Saga. And then with both swords, he fights like this. Megaton Fist. He's just hitting me with his shoulder. Sonic Sodo! summons, not right now. Then why do you have hands? You can clearly hold weapons, why do you just turn it into that? Why have hands? Oh no! Exposed nipples! Robot nipples! Ethnobolt! Quick, we must go through the future ruins, destroy this Gundam, and then find out the truth about the past. <laughs> We're still in like some weird eye of like archipelago. 
bazooka. Oh lord. He's dead! I don't think I can get the yellow to have the gate physical on. It seems like one of those end game level. Yep. Gizmatoid! Free Dennis right now and meteor showers. Oh, wait, at elements, element levels. I guess I can need a few more yellows. No, I've got a few, right? Yellow brooch! How's ever? Please tell me how you're doing, everyone. Or unless you're all lurking, that's all good, too. and you get free items. Why do I imagine these things aren't like security robots? They're just like cleanup droids or something. Robo sewer wash. What? Oh. 
you gotta stay on the thing. Oh, the water is very slightly pushing me around. We designed it like this. The white brooch. Oops. I was too zealous. The cure-all, which I can't wear unless someone's blue. That wasn't a puzzle, that was just something to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Help! They're in here with me. These people have, like, these kids gotta be like, what's going on? We don't understand how this is working. But then, since we're controlling Surge, it's, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Okay, I gotta go up. These are stairs. I see a treasure chest for some reason. Box! Forget me not pot. Oh, that's weird. Because you're not. That item lets you uh, capture monsters. For only one specific person, really. But... It's okay, I'll worry about it later. Who designed that these security robots are like Gundams? Or airships? What the hell?
yes, mini star. It's actually pretty good for everybody. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this ex if experiment succeeds, we'll be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, become like gods. If so, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail in this experiment. If for some reason anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be. I'm thinking uh, the experiment went wrong. Looks like someone in the future tried to mess with time. <laughs> I'm getting Resident Evil vibes. Okay, can't progress, so we gotta run through those lasers. Guards. destroyed some priceless robots. Oh, that's the elevator. Or is that the elevator? So that's the archipelago. The El Nido archipelago. This looks like a VR setup. Or a big game of battleship. Originally, El Nido was nothing but an ocean. I don't know, I see that guy's navel right there. El Nido archipelago was purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of Nido, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle, the development of elements, using the energy of the natural world, the distribution of memory terminal devices called the Records of Faith that could monitor and guide people's lives, the research center staff who had their memories of the future erased, left the center, and began a life outside of its nature. This is how Fate's Paradise became, came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the sense of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with a flame on the night of the storm. Okay, let's recap. People from 2500 AD, they go back in, they do an experiment, they go back in time somehow to 10,000 years ago. So like 900, minus 900 BC. Um, there, they developed this archipelago. 
filled with elements. They made elements for people to cast spells with. Um, then the scientists wiped the memories of the future and lived happy lives on the islands for, for 10,000 years. And then we're back to 14 years ago. Uh, 14 years ago, Surge got attacked by a lynx. He got super sick and was about to die. His dad brings him here through the storm. Uh, the boy, Surge, came in contact with the flame. That's that's the biggest recap I've got for you guys. Where was the lock for this feeling really good? My mind's been blanking out lately. Okay, so I can go back down whenever I want, but that's not what I want. Mysterious being inside. We have to be so here that knows what this is. So I gotta run down to a save point. Switch up the party. of life. The human body is made up of 50 to 60 billion cells. Each of these cells contains genes in the form of DNA. These are the fundamental building blocks that exist inside the cell's chromosomes. They store genetic information that can be passed on from parent to child. The structure of DNA is common throughout all life, throughout all universes. Through DNA recombination, life forms take on differing forms with varying abilities. That's a Japanese man on the left and a lizard on the right. Convince me otherwise. Lavos. An extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago, on the timeline that existed before history was changed. Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface, sleeping and consuming the energy and planet's energy up until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse. Though there are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, the legendary ancient magical civilization of the Zeal came in contact with Lavos. That fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal was never proven, so the theory cannot be confirmed to this day. On some timelines, Lavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and brought the world to ruin. However, a group of young time travelers saw where their planet's history was heading and through their actions rewrote time. DNA records are poems and music. And then a thymine guanine, and cysteine, cytosine, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who made contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. Okay, so I was on the left, so let's go take out the right. Too many airships, too many radiuses. Whoa. That's a brain. Those are brains. What was it? Model of brain evolution. Model of brain analysis. Model of brain behavior. Model of lower animal brain. The life forms on this planet developed from single-celled microorganisms to protozoans, then from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with the cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals, the anthropod brain enlarged and accelerating rapace until it became the human brain we know. 
Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by Lavos? It, it then follows that humans are really a heterogeneous life form, or foreign matter as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with Lavos, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and incomplete. Internally inconsistent and disconnected, human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species, torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. We control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. That means that by man manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains, it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to their brains of humans with whom they come into contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personality feelings. Memory scanning and imprinting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it is possible to simulate the thoughts and the feelings of each individual. These are all just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain at home. The vessels of flesh can now be pro repro reproduced through cloning, and the soul stored within these flesh fleshy vessels can be stimulated as well. Simulated as well. Thus, one can go, even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. However, that comes at the cost of the destruction of the individual, the loss of variation. In which case, is there truly life where there's no death? Okay, bye. That's a robot. Out of my way, I want that box. Combot. Gunner gets ya. I'm gonna get ya. One. Oh, that hurt! No one tell him otherwise. The number's live. I'm gonna be ending my stream soon, everyone, so I wanna thank everyone ahead of time for watching the stream so far. Let's see you're all interested in what's happening at the end game here. And I'll do my best to recap the story as best I can if anyone asks. Stop shooting me! Infoscope him. Oh. Go ballistic. Okay, that was more damage than before. Am I burning? Hell yeah, take that. It's an early element, whatever. Ah! To the fourth floor, I guess. Only personnel registered as Arbiter may enter. Experiment will begin soon. Please withdraw to your designated positions. We will do the same in case of an emergency. I think Surge can go in there. But for now, whoa. Everyone, gather round. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Oh my god. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate, and no conclusions have been made. According to our theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continuum can be drawn in. 
thus making it possible to transform that singular point, uh, which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space times. Time eggs may have already existed during the region of the reign of the ancient dynasty we heard legends about. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may have not even existed. We can do this ourselves. But the legends say they alter time using a time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't any evidence to prove that this di ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren sea of El Nido, we built artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our research is about to come to an end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Time is not absolute, but elastic. It is both relative and subjective. Individual differences emerge as time changes. Perhaps people, all life forms, exist in their own separate strands of time. Is time independent, marching to the beat of its own drum? <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, that's another room. But I'm almost done for the day, everyone. So what? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave and save, and then I'll come back to this again on Wednesday. Uh, my my next full stream day will be Wednesday, so I hope you all have fun until then. Uh, you can come back and visit me. I'm gonna run down to the save room now, and the lore keeps digging. It's just going through. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna raid somebody as soon as I finish saving here, and I hope y'all have a great evening. Thank you so much for stopping by for my one hour of Chrono Cross. This game will be done soon. I think there's at least two more bosses to deal with. And then there's the final boss, which is right after that, and we have to worry about that. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask you all to have a great evening, and to hope to see you there on Brian's stream later tonight, about 11, 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. He will be streaming something, I think he's gonna do something one-handed. It could be that, or something relaxing, depending on the state of his arm. He does get exhausted, uh, and then he, like, doing that right after is a bit much. Um, ooh, that's weird. Uh, I've not seen many streamers on tonight. Uh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on go on a LARF. I'm gonna check out who's playing Puyo Puyo Tetris. No one, but someone's playing Puyo Puyo Champions. Let me see if they're, if they're any good. If they're good people, not if they're any good. If they're good people, because I think a lot of, a lot of the people I usually uh, jump onto for a raid are, uh, <laughs> you know, missing. Oh, hold on, I gotta unmute. Uh, it's fine. Oh no, they're Japanese. I don't want to do that to you guys. Ah, oh, I don't know who to raid. Everyone's busy. Everyone's busy! Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for lurking and everything. Um, Craft Quest Cutie is offline right now. So is TY. They're not playing any Fire Emblem. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think some people are still playing Pizza Tower right now. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go on a lark and jump over to someone who's playing Octopath Traveler 1. No, hold on, hold on. Nope, not. there's too many. Uh, everyone's playing Octopath Traveler too. You know what? Monty Glue, I think they're a friend of the channel. They might be a friend of uh, on Brian's side of the channel, but they're playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Let's jump over there and hope for the best. All right, I'm going to hit the raid button, and I'll see you on 10 seconds. But have a great night, everyone. Stay safe out there. Work on your backlogs. Don't let them haunt you like ghosts or monsters or spirits from 10,000 years in the future who traveled back and just recreated elements. Defeat them or else. I'll see you all, I'll see you all on Wednesday. Have a good night, everyone. See you later.